Well, you know what they say, 1998 was a great year for French football. No, not the World Cup. Kylian Mbappé was born. Hello there guys, it's Steven and welcome back to Club 4. We just witnessed an absolutely astonishing game of football. It's finished 4-3 to France against Argentina. They are through to the quarterfinals of the World Cup. It was just absolutely scintillating. But before I go too far, if you want to win the Germany shirt, yes, the infamous Germany away shirt, all you got to do is like this video, just get in the comments, chat to people, subscribe, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. But mainly, just like this video and subscribe and comment. Uh, and that's all you could do to win it. We'll be announcing a winner very soon after this the success of the Nigeria ship, we thought we'd give that, but let's get on to the actual game. Yeah, where to start there, what a game of football, possibly the best game of football so far, and it was great that he came in the knockout stages, it was just end-to-end -end stuff, we've seen possibly uh, the passing of the baton here from one great to a future great. How is Mbappe only 19 years old? As a Messi fan, I am gutted to see him out of the World Cup, I wanted to see him lift a trophy at some point if it wasn't going to be England, and it's not going to happen, it looks like he's going to retire without winning the World Cup, unless he performs some kind of miracle four years from now. But it was great to see it passed uh, on to such an exciting talent. Uh, and Bab is just absolutely sensational. He ran the Argentinian defence absolutely ragged. With a performance of pace, composure, intelligence, no uh, little amounts of skill, and just maturity beyond his tender years. He's still 19, which is a crazy thought. Yet before the game, he was in the tunnel, looking absolutely buzzing to be there. That says it all about his mentality. And in general, he was a fawn in Argentina side. Ably supported as well by Pogba. He was absolutely excellent in the centre of the park. Driving runs, strong challenges and beautifully pinged long balls that played the best out of Giroud uh, and Mbappe up front. Gotta say as well shout out to Pavard with an absolutely sensational finish. That goal was just sheer art. The, the spin on it, the side view, the slow motion angle which he posted on Twitter. It's just something else. A beautiful, beautiful goal uh, and worthy of a game of this kind of quality. It was end to end and there were some moments where the defence wasn't what it should have been maybe but it didn't matter it was one all at half time obviously that incredible and bad run led to a grease and penalty a brain fart from Pope Rojo what was he doing there dragging him down should have just let him go uh, but then that was followed up as well but that's uh, just incredible uh, ping from Di Maria from 20 yards that was so aesthetically pleasing to watch and after that it just got better and better and better. A further five goals in that second half. First, the Argentina went ahead, and then uh, France pulled it back again and went further ahead. And then we were teased by last minute drama with Aguero putting one in in the 92nd minute. But it wasn't to be. It never was going to happen as well. Messi cutting a forlorn figure on the pitch. Argentina were largely a bit of a mess, just relying on moments of individual brilliance and no actual team cohesiveness. It's just a shame in general that they didn't really know how to use the players that they got. And maybe that they just lacked so much kind of guile in the centre of the park. And maybe that they just lacked um, a bit of pace at the back as well. Uh, Fazio and Otamendi aren't the quickest. And Mascarano in midfield, a position he's not played for a long time. Never mind the fact that he plays in China now. Well, that was a slow call there. And it had nothing to answer to Francis' athleticism and pace in the middle. Messi didn't know where to be. False nine or maybe dropping deeper to create play. And that's probably where he should have been. Maybe where Argentina actually lacked. Given the fact that they're the days of their beautifully gifted number two. Tens like Raquel May or Aymar or someone like that, they seem to have faded away a little bit at the moment and that's what Argentina needed they needed that uh, skill alongside Messi to maybe create something but in general, France were good value for their win and they deserve to be through it was a scintillating game of football let me know what you reckon, I, I absolutely loved that I loved it, it was a fantastic game, of course as well I'm at home if you're wondering why I'm not in the Club 40 studio because you know it's the weekend we're all enjoying it, uh, it's just so good to watch that game wasn't it, let me know in the comments what you thought let me know how far you think France will go and how good and bad actually is guys like this video subscribe if you're new and don't forget you could win the germany shirt and many more shirts in the coming days as well see you next time